What's happening guys in this video let us try to understand how to sort a list okay now what is sorting a list now basically I have an array list to which I have added randomly some text R T E P now I want this text uh, I want okay let me just run this to you and let us see what it shows up so it shows me Rakshit random text entry point Okay, now uh, what I want is I want it to be alphabetically sorted. I want this thing to be alphabetically sorted, but how do I do that? Well, for sorting this list, you should do something like this. Uh, you should do, <clears throat> let me differentiate it. Before sort and now here we have now you should do something like collections dot sort now this is a built-in method uh, that Java provides and for this method you should pass if I do control and okay I'm not going to do that at this point but I'll tell you the arguments you should pass the first argument the list whichever list you want it to be sorted and then the second argument that you should pass is basically a, a comparator. But before that, let me show you what's going to happen. Before sorted, okay, let me make this after sorted. Now, if we just go and try and print this out, we see that it automatically sorts for us in the order we want right we have entry point rakshat random text which is alphabetically order now what if i want to do a reverse ordering okay what if i want to do alphabetically sort but i want it to be you know from a text to entry in the reverse order now if that is what i want then i'll create what is called as a comparator a comparator is something that allows us to sort based on what conditions we want at this point I could have used uh, a reverse sorting uh, built-in mechanism which I'm not going to use at this point because I want to show how a comparator works all right so I'm going to create a new Java class and I'll say sort comparator now in this class I'm going to say this comparator implements a comparator now don't worry what this is uh, don't worry too much about this but this is how you start creating a comparator first of all you create a class and then make it implement the comparator and then inside inside the angle bracket you should pass what are the elements that you want to compare now I want to compare string so I'm just passing in string all right and if I do alt enter and say implement methods it's asking me which one do you want to implement I'm just going to do I'm just going to implement compare now if I just hit OK now that error is gone because I implemented the required method alright now what I am going to do is I am going to return now this compare method basically what this compare method is doing is it is going to return an integer based on the comparison that we do so if I do something like this, return O2, return O2 dot compare to O1. Basically this compare to method is a built-in method. If I just click on this, look, this is the built-in method that Java provides. It is going to take another string and then it is going to return look at this the value if the argument string is equal to this string a value less than so basically it's going to return the difference in the alphabetical order so what do I mean by that if if I say my element is a and then the comparison element is B then it is going to return minus 1 okay basically if my element is lesser than when I say lesser than in this case I'm talking about alphabetically lesser than then it's going to return a value less than zero if my object if my 
character is a and I'm comparing it with a then it is going to return 0 and then if if my object is larger than the next comparing object then it is going to return a value greater than 0 so I, I hope you you get what I said so on to the left you know it is a, a, a character or a string right a string it compares the entire string with the next string and then returns a value appropriately so that is called as lexographical so look at this it's called as lexographically uh, valued all right now if I just uh, just do something like this return o2 compared to o1 then what is this going to do is it is going to return a value but now we required a comparator right we have to pass a comparator now for that you should say new our comparator sort comparator that we created now what is going to happen is this string list is going to be sorted but not on how Java implements it but on our terms you know on the terms that we defined in the comparator it is going to do the sorting mechanism so if I just try and run this uh, and see we have after sort text random rakshit point entry you, you see the difference this is because we implemented our custom comparator now if you want things to be very well uh, compared or sorted based on a specific uh, requirement then you should create what is called as a comparator how do you create a comparator um, so basically you do public class a uh, creator class and then make sure it implements the comparator and then you pass in what type of objects you want to compare so in our case it's going to compare two strings and then this compare to method was automatically implemented so I just was in a position that I could simply say o2 compare to o1 so this is already provided by Java now if I were to do comparison uh, with numbers let us uh, let us just uh, change it now and let me make it integer and let's get rid of this I, let's get rid of that okay phi and uh, let's add another value 10 and randomly I'm going to enter some values 3 uh, 22 76 you see the these values are not ordered in any fashion okay now before sorting let us try and print it out okay so before sorting it's going to print out 5 10 3 whatever the order we want it to be now let me get rid of new comparator this time if I just try and print it out it is going to print out 5 10 3 22 76 because it didn't do anything right at this point now let us try and uh, oh wait 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 I need to do control uh, let now this time this time it should sort it let us see yeah so after sort this is the value 3 5 10 22 76 now what if I want to sort it in the reverse order well you could do it built in you could directly do something some sort of manipulation here but I'm going to use a comparator because I want to show the use of comparator um, so here we have the sort comparator this time it is going to implement um, the comparator with an integer and now all if I get rid of this and then ask IntelliJ to implement methods by the way I, I did you know I did alt and enter and if I ask to do implement methods and then say compare to this time guys come on what should I do you have to tell me I should say return o1 right compare to because this compare to method was already provided you don't have to worry to o2 and that's it so it is as simple as that return o1 compare to art o2 and this time we have to pass in the comparator that we want it is going to be new sort comparator and if I just play tada you see 
what sort oh can you tell me why this is happening 3 5 10 22 7 to 6 it's sorting in the regular fashion why that's because we said o1 compared to o2 that is why it's sorting in the regular way now if i do o2 compared to o1 let us see what's going to happen you see this is the after sort so it is 7 to 6 22 10 5 3 so this is the basic idea of sorting an array list using the collections dot sort method so if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and share and uh, let's continue uh, in this java journey in the upcoming videos thank you